Aloha, I'm Felicia Melo Johnson, and I conduct work life video interviews with career professionals that become an all intuitive conversation. Aloha and welcome to another episode of All Intuitive Conversation. So today is also special because I get to connect with a friend, Maite. So Maite, let's add her to the screen. Aloha. Aloha, my beautiful friend. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here with you. Yes. Well, like I said, this is usually different because I have not spoken with my guests usually like I'm getting to know them for the first time but you and I have connected we've been in um, networking groups kind of together and we we've chatted you know just outside of that and so um, so this will be a little different because the questions that are going to come through are hopefully we're just going to be ultimately as always still encouraging to live smart and ascend to new levels of success in your work life so with that said my time Tell me about your day yesterday. What did you do yesterday? My day yesterday. My day yesterday was very interesting because I don't know if I've, um, I don't know if we've connected since then, but I had uh, a professional friend that I've known for a long time um, offer me a position. So I am currently working back in the corporate environment doing what I used to do way back then. Um, so I work in helping uh, kids with significant mental health issues uh, get the services they need. So these are kids who have you know, done the traditional counseling and you know, might have had some psychiatric hospitalizations and are just needing some long-term treatment. And so our company uh, provides those services and I get to talk to people and families and help them see if uh, our program is the right fit. So that and, you know, the law of attraction coaching. So it's been, it's interesting. Well, that is interesting. Um, like I said, I, we had not talked and I did not <clears throat> know that. Uh, but evidently it came out with tapping into your energy and your voice because the cards... <laughs> that came out was the three of pentacles and it literally says at the bottom of this card do what you love recognition for the highest quality of work especially creative endeavors being paid well for your craft working well with others an excellent reputation and so it was just kind of connected with this whole you going you know back to to work um while you were still working either way but the fact that you were you know took this position but it was just kind of like based off the reputation that your friends like I know she's good at this I know she's done this before let me have this conversation with her and see if she's you know willing to to come back in and, and continue to to do that um again so having known you as an entrepreneur and as this law of attraction coach When you got that call and you were offered this position and you kind of did that, what did what went through your mind about taking that position or not taking that position? Wow, that's a great question. So many things went through my mind. Um, number one, it was an answered prayer in terms of some solutions to where I was in that moment. Um, there was a lot of excitement for two reasons. One is the individual that I um, was working with is someone that I have admired for a long time professionally. And um, I had always sort of wanted to work with him. So mm. that sort of um, was a, a really interesting dynamic. And then the third thing was a reminder that I loved what I did um, when I was back in corporate. The only reason I left was because 
our company got sold to private equity. The quality of the program that I was representing just wasn't what it used to be when, when, you know, when I was doing it and, and doing it well. Yeah. Um, and so all of those reasons like all came together as an amazing opportunity. And while I was scared to take that, that risk in, because I didn't know what that was going to mean for my coaching business. I don't, mm -hmm. I didn't know if I could do both. I didn't know if I had the right. main, um, and that was the part that was probably, um, the hardest or the more challenging to kind of figure out. But most of me was just like, oh, I love adventure. I love something new and, and this is new, but in a totally different, I mean, totally new in a very similar space for me. Mm -hmm. so. Yes. Well, um, the next card that had came out was about strength and it talks, it shows a, a woman, um, angel next to this whole lion. And the fact that is this a dangerous situation? Is this something um, that I would feel, you know, like kind of comfortable doing? And in some versions of this card, it actually has the woman opening up the mouth of, you know, the lion, right? Um, but here it was like, you took the strength to be able to analyze the whole situation. Like, okay, do I want do do I do this? Is this the direction that I'm, I'm kind of supposed to kind of go in? And, you know, it was like, yeah, it's, Okay, like you took this opportunity. It's not how it was um, before. And at the bottom of the car, it says, realizing that you're stronger than you know. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, you can still do what you love for both, right? Because with the next vision or thing that came in is like, yeah, you're in this maybe corporate setting. You're doing this kind of work, right? But then like you're still having the strength here. You're still able to work and, and engage in the natural element and still do your law of attraction coaching, right? So when you accept this position, it was kind of like your answer prayer. So what is the plan for you in order to continue doing your other job that you love doing of law of attraction coach? Hmm, what is the plan? Well, I actually do have a really good plan. Um, mm -hmm. As you know, as it relates to the Be More Conference, I'm going to be speaking at it again in October. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about that. And um, from that, I'm uh, scheduling to or developing a workshop that I'm going to be doing uh, toward the end of the month and then starting my group coaching program in November. So that's the plan. And yes. What I'm working on is the execution of that plan. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you are a powerful creator. That's what came out. So the first thing that came out, like I said, which is the whole, because you have like green running through your thing, which is basically about the heart, which is about the love. Oh, okay. Got it. Um, my time, do you know what your name means? Uh, what it means? <laughs> I've heard it say beloved. Okay. All right. Um, beloved, when I connected with you and tapping into your energy, um, it also means lovable. Lovable. And lovable is running like through this. Because like I said, you have the green that's around the first one um, that's dealing with the, the heart, which is love. You still have green in your second card. The next one that came out was the theme that talks about faith, which is also still in green. And it says the trigger, which talks about is why this has always happened to me. But the true statement is that I'm at peace. And remember, I told you this card usually shows the woman opening the lion's mouth and roaring it, right? But this version, talk, it looks like you're more at peace. Like, mm -hmm. I'm here in this environment. I don't have to struggle. I don't have to force this mouth open to make it happen. Rather, I can just be here in this situation and at peace. And it says, know that everything will work out as it needs to and hold a space of gratitude as you watch the miracles unfold. So everything that you're supposed to be doing with your business as in life coach, like you're still doing this other opportunity is all going to work out, have the continued faith. But in the next card they came out and talks about the awareness. And it says, Trigger, I never get 
what I want. But the true statement says, I am a powerful creator, which is what you are, which is all talks about the whole of law of attraction, like and like, and you get what you are and you can create it. And the message on the bottom that says, listen to your inner voice, release your ideas of the outcome you wish to see and trust that you are aligned with the universe. So with that... It's asking me to go back to the whole fear that you may have. Um, and I don't know if it's if it's the conference or something that you have kind of going on. But what is that you may still be holding on that's not going to be potentially successful? That's not going to happen as you think the plan is supposed to happen. Well, I mean, I think I feel pretty solid about the plan. I think that where the fear is, mm -hmm. is around... The, the technology, the, the, the behind the scenes of making it happen and just the pieces, like I'm in my element when I'm in the workshop and I'm talking and I'm doing what I do. Same thing with coaching, um, but you know how it is with, with everything. There's the marketing and promotion and, and, like the logistics and the technical and all that kind of stuff, which is um, a bit challenging. And that puts me in that, that feeling of, of fear of, am I going to be, am I going to be able to figure it out? How, how do I make that happen? Um, and, and to your point, you know, there's a lot of awareness that has to play into that so that I don't get sucked into that. Well, you came out, you, you're going to have the success. So in order, so just know that it's going to be successful, but it comes down to the word that's standing out technology. What is the fear around the technology piece? Um, the learning curve of it. Um, it's not, it, it, it doesn't in, intuitively come to me so it's it's using a part of my brain that um that is just more challenging for me i mean that's just the only way that i can put that okay so the picture is of this mom and it looks like her daughter and notice that they have like homework uh -huh. right uh -huh. And when we were, you know, back in school, we would get these homework assignments in order to help us to be able to do, you know, better and get, you know, more and more better at that. So the next question that's coming is, what can you do in order to get yourself comfortable with technology? I, honestly, I think that the biggest thing is just the mindset around it. Like, I'm a smart person. <laughs> um, I've been able to figure things out before. Mm -hmm. And this is just another piece of it. And to allow it to flow a little bit easier, because when I get into that place of, oh my God, how am I going to figure this out? And it's too much or feel overwhelmed. You know, if I stay in there, then I don't do much. So mm -hmm. it's, it's about really going, okay, I'm feeling overwhelmed, but let's just take you know, one thing at a time. Like, what's mm -hmm. the next thing that you have to do? Let's just get that done. And then we'll worry about the next versus. Yeah. Kind of. So, the they're not le so they're not letting it go. What is the next thing that you can do to get yourself comfortable with technology? A specific step. I want to say just do it. That's <laughs> what comes to mind. Um. Figure out what resources I can utilize to help me mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. What's the first one that came to mind? The first one was just, just do it. I mean, what specific resource? Oh, what specific resource? Um, the coaches that I work with that already have that strong sense of how that's supposed to be just really utilizing them a little more to make that happen mm -hmm. you know have you shared with them your concerns about the technology piece um probably not 
because I tend to just, okay, I'm going to figure it out. Like I'm just doing it. And so, no, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that I have. So what's that story behind the fact that you think you have to struggle alone? Oh, that's probably an old story of just having to depend on myself for pretty much everything, you know, have being a single mom, um, you know, when my husband passed away, it was just me with my kid and, you know, um, just having to take care of things. So it's just kind of this natural state of like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out because I've had to. Mm hmm. So if you take that story and you change it and you go to this this support in this group because you have a support, you have the group that can be there. Like I said, you're no longer, because at first, yeah, you're kind of by yourself with something that's stone, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to something that's, okay, an animal that's got this whole energy there, right? It's alive, okay? But now you got two live people that talks about the success and that they're rooting for you. And they're like, you absolutely can do this. However, they can't help you if they don't know. So if you say, okay, yeah, I am I have concerns about technology. It's not necessarily my whole forte or everything. What would you suggest? What would you recommend to help me in order to make sure that I'm comfortable and well prepared for whatever the presentation may be? How does that sit and resonate with you? Um, I mean, I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm sort of in that place right now where that would be a, a perfect actual next step because I've started. Um, and, you know, it's funny because as you say that, there's this, this thought that just came into my head about... Um, it being deeper um, because it's, it almost feels like that's more of an excuse than the real, the, 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 the real fear. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, uh, I mean, we've talked before and, and I know this, you know, it's, it's those, those feelings of, um, am I really good enough to make this happen is what it boils down to. I think. Because um, the technology piece, yeah, it's it's uh, it's challenging. But when I sit down and I do it, I I it's slow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. That's just it. Mm. So you're back to the message here, a chipping away of like you said. There's this this start off as some big piece of clump of stone. But she took the time to chisel and chisel in order to reveal this masterpiece artwork that's underneath. And you're starting on the path of what you just said, is that this really goes deeper than just the whole technology piece. But it goes back to right back where it was in the beginning. Working well with others. You have an excellent, excuse me, an excellent reputation. You are enough. Your reputation already precedes you, just like you got this whole new position, right? Your reputation precedes you. So it becomes absolutely, you're more than enough. Oh, you shit. absolutely can do it. <laughs> no, that's an agreement. It's like, oh, like, yes. <laughs> See, the man who comes in with the divine timing of this whole, this whole voice, right? And so it's like, you back to this true statement you are a powerful creator yes that you are and i love it because i love being reminded of that like i know it but then you know life gets in the way sometimes and, and it's so important to remember that and i just love when i get those reminders mm -hmm. to really take that in well, I'm, I'm hoping so because you got things to do girl Mm -hmm. You got things to do. So, with that, and so I was like, okay, there was this other deck that came through. Yes. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I went to this love deck, right? And you just got George Michael. 
Are you familiar with George Michael? Yes, I am familiar with George Michael, but what does he mean? <laughs> so George Michael says on this card, always wake them before you go. Pay no heed to careless whispers. Family are your band members. So the connection with all this is talking about pay no heed to those careless whispers. <sighs> right? Because in that song, when he has the whole careless whispers, he basically <sighs> winds up not appreciating the thing that he loves, really. He has this whole affair, and then it becomes this whole thing, and she leaves him, right? But the thing of the whispers of that you're not enough, mm -hmm. that am I really good to do this? Absolutely. You are like pay that to mind because those things are going to keep you from the stuff that you absolutely love doing. Yeah, no, oh, for sure. Yeah, awesome. and it comes down, and then the next one is family are your band members. Remember, I told you, but going back to the whole mother daughter in this picture is a live person. So the people that you're working with and you're connecting with, in essence, they're your your family. Right. They're your band members. When you think about a band, right? What happens is everybody's kind of having this part, but they come together and they make a beautiful song. Beautiful music. Beautiful music. So it becomes down to whatever you're like, hey, I need a little help with this. You know, what's the information that you kind of have and feedback for me? Um, help me in the fear. Like, they got you. Like, you're successful. I love it. And the reality is that I am so well supported. Like, I, I know that. So use your friends, be honest with them where you're at, accept the support that they have for you because they're all part of your team. I love it. And it, it's just a, a great reminder also of, I don't have to do this all by myself. Nope. <laughs> you do not. You do not have to do this all by yourself. Mm -mm. But you can have the whole team, which ultimately will lead to your success. Yeah. My time. That is the message that is coming through. I hope you were encouraged to, to live smart and ascend to new levels of success in Absolutely. your work, in your life. Thank you for those that have watched live or watched on the replay. May you too have also been encouraged. If you're interested in having a session, session, session with me, um, just go to my website, Sevenfold Coaching. And until we meet again next week here live, this has been another episode of All Intuitive Conversation. We love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're so welcome.